friend. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome back to Made with Miss Madeline. It's called Made because we are going to be making something today. I am so excited to show you what our craft is going to be. It is spring. If you haven't been able to watch our other spring craft videos, you can check out our channel and look at all of the other crafts that we've made together, like a rainbow cloud and a caterpillar and a butterfly. Today, we're going to be making another spring craft. Have you seen any flowers or beautiful plants lately? I have, and that's because spring is the season where lots of flowers and beautiful plants start to come out because the weather is getting a little bit warmer. Today, we are going to be using real flowers and plants to make a craft. I want to show you what it is and start getting our supplies ready. Today, you're going to be making a craft that looks a little bit like this when it's finished. This is a flower vase that I made. And are these drawings of flowers? They're real flowers. I picked these flowers and leaves in my neighborhood. For this craft, you will need to get some real flowers or plants that you find outside in your backyard or in your neighborhood. I wonder what kinds of flowers or plants we might see outside. Let's look at some pictures. These are some types of flowers that you might see in your backyard or neighborhood. These flowers up here are called dandelions. Can you say dandelions? Good. These ones over here are called honeysuckle. Can you say honeysuckle? That's a fun name to say. These ones over here are daisies. Have you ever seen a daisy before? Those grow in lots of different places. These other ones over here are different types of wildflowers. What color are those wildflowers? They're purple. These are some types of flowers that you might see, but maybe when you go out exploring, you will see lots of other types too. Now, let's talk about how you're gonna find those flowers. Every day, I take my dog Maisie out for a walk. And today when I took her for a walk, I wanted to find some flowers and plants. So while we were walking, I was keeping a close eye for some flowers that I could find. These are some of the flowers that I found. I used a plastic bag to collect all of my flowers and leaves so that I could take them home. Maybe you want to bring a plastic bag with you on your walk or exploring in your backyard to find your own flowers. So our most important thing that we need for this craft is real flowers and leaves. But let's talk about the other supplies that we need for our craft so that we can get everything we need and get started. Now is a good time to pause the video while you get everything that you need. You can also ask a grown up to help you find these supplies. You will need some real flowers or leaves that you found outside in your backyard or in your neighborhood. You will also need a small piece of cardboard. You can cut out a piece from an old box or something that you might have around your house. Ask a grown up for help if you need to. You will also need a black crayon or marker and something pokey, like a pencil that you can use to poke holes in your cardboard. You can also get some different color crayons or markers to color in your flower vase. Go get all of your supplies and when you're ready, you can come back and press play. Do you have all of your supplies ready? Great, let's get started making our craft. The first thing that we need is our piece of cardboard and our black marker. I got this piece of cardboard from a box that got mailed to my house. I cut out a smaller piece from the box. 
If you need help doing that, you can ask a grown-up to help you cut out a smaller piece of cardboard. Now I'm going to draw my vase onto my cardboard. If you're feeling a little bit nervous about doing that with a marker, you can also do it with pencil first. That way, if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. I'm gonna use my black marker to draw my vase. When I'm drawing it, I'm going to make sure to leave some space at the top because that's where we're going to put our flowers. So I'm going to draw my vase by drawing a straight line across like this, and then two lines going down to the bottom, and then a smaller line at the bottom connecting them. Now I can go back and fix any parts that aren't all the way straight or make my lines a little bit thicker. Now, before I start poking the holes at the top, I think I would like to add a design to my vase. I'm going to add some polka dots to my vase. Polka dots are kind of like circles. So I'm gonna draw some different circles on my vase that I'm going to color in with some different colors to make my vase have a cool design on it. If you don't want to add polka dots, you can also add stripes or flowers or any design that you like. Now I think I will color in my polka dots. So I'm gonna choose some colors to use. You can use crayons to color in your polka dots or markers. I'm going to use some different color markers. Let's color in our polka dots or color in whatever design you decided to draw. Now I'm going to color in the background of my vase. I think I will use a green crayon. is tired after all of that coloring. Is your hand tired too? Let's start on the next part of our craft. The next part is when we're going to poke the holes in our cardboard and that's where our flowers are going to go. For this part, we need to find something that we can use to poke the holes with. You can use a pencil or a pen or you can ask for a grown-up's help with using something like scissors or a knife to make the holes in your cardboard. I am going to use this old pen that I have. It doesn't work anymore, so it's perfect for this project. I'm going to use the pointy end of my pen to start poking some holes around the top of my vase where I want my flowers to go. Can you count the holes while I poke them? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how about one more? Do you know what one more than eight is? It's nine. I poked nine holes for my flowers. You can poke more holes if you want to. Now it's time for the most fun part of the craft, which is getting to put our real flowers and leaves onto our vase. I have some of the flowers and leaves that I found from my walk around my vase so that I can decide which ones I want to put on. You might notice that some of these flowers are kind of like the pictures that we looked at. I think I'll start by putting some leaves on my vase and then I'll add some flowers. Here are some cool leaves that I found. I'm gonna put them in here. 
See how I'm gently putting it through the hole? Now I'll add some different leaves. Whoa, look at this plant that I found. It has these long parts on it. Let's put that one up here. Now I'll add these flowers. These kind of remind me of the pictures of the honeysuckle flowers that we looked at. I'm gonna put those here. Now I'm gonna add some of these beautiful pink and purple flowers to my vase. And maybe some of these pink ones too. You can even add a flower to a hole where there's already some leaves to make it look like there's lots of flowers and plants. I'm gonna add this yellow one to this hole with the leaves in it. Wow, that looks so nice. Let's keep going and add a few more flowers to our vase. that we made. I see so many different colors of flowers, different shapes, different sizes. What a beautiful vase of flowers. Another thing that you can do when you're all done is ask a grown-up to help you tape some of the stems on the back. That will help make sure that your flowers don't fall off when you lift it up. Wow, look at our beautiful vase of flowers. You did such a great job on your craft. Thank you for making that with me today. I would love to see all of your flower vases when they're all done. Ask a grown-up to help you send me a message by clicking on the link underneath this video. Do you have an idea of a craft that you would like to make with Miss Madeline? Ask a grown-up to help you send me a message. I would love to hear all of your ideas so that we can make some of those crafts together. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can see other crafts like this one. Remember, this is Made with Miss Madeline. I hope that you keep on making and I will see you next time. Bye for now.